El Dorado. Yes, El Dorado. What an adventure. What a story. Who would believe it? Who could possibly tell it? Tulio, you are the hero. You must tell it. No, Miguel, please. You are the hero. You must tell it. Yes, I will. But, uh, where do I start? We were in Spain. Yes. In the marketplace. Yes. It was morning. No, it was evening. It was morning. We had just woken. From our siesta, it was evening. Am I telling the story? You're the hero. Compromise. That's a deal. It was midday in the marketplace in Spain. Hey, look, Tulio! That's us! Oh, no. It's nice to be wanted, isn't it? This isn't hugs and kisses wanted, Miguel. This is thrown into a stinking cell and forgotten about wanted. Oh. We'd better get out of town and quick. And we'd better keep away from the town guards, too. This poster worries me, Miguel. It certainly brings out your worst features. You're a true friend. Anybody watching? No. Greetings! What do you sell? Corn! Golden bounty of the new world! Could you give me a small bag of corn? Give me one peseta and I shall! One peseta? That's all the money we have in the world! How much for corn again? One peseta for a small bag. Here you go, one peseta. And here you go, one small bag of corn. Look, Miguel, a chicken! It doesn't seem to belong to anybody. Okay, this is a wild runaway chicken. Ooh, scary. Look, Miguel, a... <laughs> Ooh, scary. Here, chick, chick, chicky. Yum, lovely corn. Uh... Say goodbye to freedom, bird. It's eaten all our corn. Who cares? We're one chicken up on the deal. Greetings! What do you sell? Chickens! Finest quality! Oh? How much for a chicken? Twenty pesetas. Very reasonable. What will you give me for this uh, splendid free-range chicken? Five pesetas. 
What? But you sell them for 20. That's how the market works, mister. Buy low, sell high. This is an outrage. Haven't I seen your face before? Five pesetas, eh? We'll take it. That's far enough, lads. If you want to get onto the docks, you'll have to pay the dock tax. How much? 20 pesetas for men, free for women. Come on, Miguel. Hello, my friends. Would you care to indulge in a game of chance? What's the game? Dice. This is our chance to make enough money for the dock tax, Miguel. Oh, yes! The bones are my friends. I'm in. Excellent. How much can you wager? Five pesetas. Ah, now you're talking. Show me the money and we can play. Okay, we've got enough money to get into your dice game. Let's play! <laughs> such enthusiasm. The dice await, gentlemen. The rules are simple. The first player rolls two dice. The second player decides whether he will roll higher or lower, and chooses how much to risk on his guess. No more than four pesetas, though. The first player matches the bet, and then the dice are rolled. Uh, what if the second player rolls the same as the first? Then the first player wins. But don't worry. We take turns at being first. Okay, here we go. I say lower. I'll wager I feel lucky. Four pesetas. I'll match that. A three. I win. You should have known better than to try and beat me, the Great Zaragoza! Very well. Your turn. Now, do you want to bet you'll roll higher or lower? Higher! How much would you like to wager, my friend? I'll wager... One peseta. I'll match your stake. A six. I win! Yes! Now my turn. I say... Lower. I'll wager... One peseta. I'll match that. A 
a three. Loser. Very well. Your turn. Lower! I'll wager. One peseta. I'll match your stake. A six. Ha-ha! Luck is my lady! Now my... Eyes low. I'll... One. I'll match that. A ten. Loser. Very well. Higher. I'll... One pit. I'll... A five. I win! Yes! Now my... Eyes lower. I'll wager... One... I'll match that. A six. Ah, you got lucky. Very well. Higher! I'll wager... Don't bet everything, Tulio. Hold at least one peseta back. All right, all right. I was going to. Who peseta? I'll match yours. A ten. I win! Yes! Now my turn. I say... Lower. I'll wager... Two pesetas. I'll match that. An eleven. You win. Very well. Your turn. Lower! I'll wager... Go for it! Four pesetas! I have no more money. Then we'll be on our way. It's been delightful doing business with... Wait, one more wager. But you're cleaned out, man! Not money. Something far more precious. Gems? No. This map. A map? Imagine my excitement. A map. We're gone. Have a nice day. A map of what? A map. Showing the secret road to El Dorado. El Dorado? The city of gold? El Dorado, the city of fairy tale, you mean? It doesn't exist, Miguel. It's just a trick to fool. El Dorado. Oh, brother. The wager is simple. If I win, I'm back in the game. If you win, you get the map. And the money. No, I keep the money.
money. What? The map's worth a million times more than these few coins. We agree. Are you crazy? Please, Tulio, it's the real thing. I know it. Of course, if you doubt your skill. Hey, the dice stay hot for me. Then prove it. I will. You'd better be right about that map, Miguel. A six. You pair of con men, you've won my map. Maybe, but we're not getting any money out of this. Who cares about the money, Tulio? We've got the map to El Dorado. Well, I'm just quivering with excitement about that, Miguel. Just wait until we're at the fabled city of gold. Yeah, fabled has in non-existent. Come on, let's go. Hey, Pablo, you'll never guess. Oh? What is it, Inigo? Those villains, Miguel and Tulio, have been spotted in the town. Oh, goodness, how frightful. Come, Inigo, we must prevent them from leaving. I'll play you for the money. Leave me be. You've taken my precious map. Hey, no tax payment, no entrance. Got it? We won't be long, promise. We're certainly not going to sneak off on a ship, officer. <laughs> Miguel? Why would you want to sneak off on a ship? You're not wanted by the law, are you? The law? Oh, <laughs> great heavens, no, officer. We'd just be interested in getting to the docks. Because... Because... Remind me, Tulio. Because, um... We've, uh... Heard about the great Cortez and his expedition to the New World. Ha! Forget it. Cortez has handpicked his crew. There's no way a couple of chancers like you can join his ship. Now get back from this gate or there'll be trouble. We're not going to sneak off in a ship. How many times do I have to tell you, Miguel? I know, I know. To be the smartest man in Spain, engage the mouth and then the brain. Oh, hold on. That's wrong, isn't it? Engage the mouth after the brain. Brain then mouth. Brain then mouth. Got it. Sorry.
Hold there, Varlet. Violet? Did he just call us Violet? None shall pass. I, Don Mocoso, conqueror of the Moors, pledge it. Hey, kid, beat it. Come on, Miguel, we don't have time for this. Ugh. He hurt me! You really shouldn't let a kid push you around like that, Tulio. Barrels, wait a minute. I'm getting an idea. Uh-oh. What if somebody was to advance on that little brat in a barrel? His stones would just bounce harmlessly off. One problem. Those barrels have had fish and vinegar in them. Where are you going to find somebody dumb enough to get in one? I can't see a thing in here. Look through the bunghole. Oh, right. That's better. Go get him, Miguel. We've done it! He's run off! Yay, us. We outwitted a six-year-old. Can I get out of this barrel now? Hey! He dropped his slingshot! I'll have that. Good. He was dangerous with it. Although, not half as dangerous as you. Boy, am I glad to be out of that stinking barrel. I can imagine. In fact, I don't need to imagine. Could you stand downwind of me? Hey, Pablo! What news, Inigo? New orders. Where to cover the docks? Ha! Ah. All I've done today is run around. Very well. To the docks, Inigo. So, why are we looking at that dress, Tulio? Hmm. Remember what the taxman said, Miguel? Twenty pesetas for a man to get into the docks. And women get in free. Oh, no, Tulio. Please, don't make me wear a dress. Not you, Miguel. Me. We just need to get to it somehow. We can't climb that fence and it would take a cannonball to knock it down. I am the great Malazo. Or of great repute. My name is known, adored, beloved, from Seville to distant Butte. Oh, Who's that? Don't know. Good day. 
I'm Tulio, and, uh... Greetings and salutations. I am the Great Malazo. We heard. Oh, of course. My fame has spread all across the world. No, we heard it from you just now. So, you fight bulls for a living. Any good at it? Any good? Any good? Do you know who I am? Remind me. I am the Great Malazo, conqueror of El Diablo. El Diablo? The devil? I defeated the devil in bovine form. The devil looked like a bull? Right. Okay. He's crumbled in the head, Tulio. Come on, let's go. Nah, I've had about all the malaise I can stand for a while. Hello. What do you do? I stand here and make sure nobody opens that gate. Doesn't sound very exciting. In this line of work, excitement is something to be avoided. Oh, really? Behind that gate is El Diablo, the biggest, most evil bull in all Spain. You don't say. He's never been defeated and never forgets a face. So, if you want to live to a ripe old age, don't get El Diablo mad at you. Have you ever heard of the Great Malazo? The Wretch Malazo, you mean. The Dolt Malazo. The Boggle-Eyed Fool Malazo. Friend of yours, is he? That pathetic fool? Never. He does say he beats El Diablo. Ha <laughs> ha! He ran around like a wet hen for so long, El Diablo grew bored chasing him. Hmm. He does claim to have defeated El Diablo. Let him face El Diablo again, and we'll see who is defeated. The bull will remember him? El Diablo never forgets a face, despite seeing more of that coward's behind. <laughs> We've seen where El Diablo is kept. He's a real monster. Yes, and only I, the Great Malazo, was able to conquer him. I guess you're the real thing, all right. Hey, why don't we take a stroll over there and you can tell us all about it. To El Diablo? Yes, your greatest battle. He is securely locked up, isn't he? Behind a big, strong gate. Very well, then, yes, uh, I, the Great Malazo, shall tell you of my glorious victory. Follow me. You're my hero, Malazo.
You have the nerve to return here. I fear nothing. By the way, that gate really is secure, isn't it? Craven Worm, Poppinjay! Hoi polloi, churl! What did you call me? Um, nothing. I can't bear the sight of you, you coward. If you won't leave here, then I shall. Good day. And I'd advise you two to have as little to do with that phony as possible. We need to get that dress somehow. How? The fence is too tall. Well, you showed him all right. Yeah, you showed him what a wimp you are. He was wise to leave before he stirred my ire. You what? So, are you going to tell us the tale of how you defeated El Diablo? Patience, my adoring friends. I need an audience. What are we? Take out Paella? I am the Great Malazo! Oh, it's Malazo. How does he do that? Listen, my friends, to the tale of how the Great Malazo, that's me, defeated the so-called undefeatable bull, the monstrous El Diablo. Oh, so hunky. Now what? Stage one of my daring plan. Which is? Currently under development. Hey, what are you doing? I'm going to unlock the gate. And then make myself scarce. Is that wise? The making myself scarce part? is very wise. The rest isn't. Let's do it anyway. Okay. Okay, El Diablo's loose. Now, to get him to... hate. The fence. Remind me, uh, how do we do that? Maybe if there was a picture of somebody he hated on the fence, that would do the trick. Where are we going to find a picture of Malazo? If he was wanted, we could use his wanted poster. Forget it. We're the only wanted people around here. And El Diablo doesn't hate us. Yet. Uh, oh, no. Don't say it. If we get El Diablo really angry, he will kill us. No, not necessarily.
good work, Tulio. That took a special kind of stupidity. Thank you, Miguel. It was step two of my daring plan. And step three is... Run! <laughs> Okay, the plan is, the bull sees the poster, thinks it's me, Finally, we have the dress. Hey! Oh, what now? Can we help you, sir? Get your kick stealing from little children, do ya? Not usually. Let me handle this, Miguel. Uh, there appears to have been a misunderstanding. That's them, Papa. They bullied me and stole my slingshot. Uh-oh. No, Miguel, not uh-oh. This is not an uh-oh situation. I'm gonna make you wish you'd never been born. Uh-oh. Oh... Oh, yes! Now I remember! What a charming boy! We were playing Knights and Violet. Varlets! And Varlets with him earlier. You dropped your slingshot, Sonny. Remember? He dropped it? Well, yeah, but... You told me they stole it! As I said, uh... Just a misunderstanding. Here. Just wait till I get you home. But that one had a barrel on his head and... Come on, you. My dairy master plan enters its fiendish final phase. That's a big relief, Tulio. That's a nice fountain. Uh, Miguel, we're trying to escape the city. Not admire the civic architecture. Sorry, Tulio.
Okay, now for the most daring part of my master plan. More daring than getting pulped by a mad bull. This is the part where I dress up as a woman. You're right. That is more daring. Okay, look away. I'm changing my clothes, do you mind? Okay, if you're going to be like that... Ta-da! Now you're frightening me, Tulio. I'll be able to get past the taxman easily. What about me? You wear what you like. Just so long as it doesn't clash with this. the pleasure of your custom before, senorita? My disguise is perfect. On guard, Tulio. Hey, senorita. Would you like to buy a chicken? Certainly not. I heard you charge four times what you buy them for. I've told all my friends to stay away from you, you profiteer! it right there. Okay, Miguel, here's what I want you to do. Forget it, Tulio. You're on your own. Bye. Miguel! Nobody passes this. Hmm. Why, hello, my dear. Uh, hi. Uh, I mean, uh, What's a senorita like you doing in the docks alone? Um, uh, my husband. He's on Cortez's ship. I want to wave him goodbye. You poor creature. You will be lonely when he's gone. Aren't you worried that people might uh, sneak by while you're talking to me? Ha! Not me. I've got eyes in the back of my head. Even so, what if somebody called, to say, Miguel was to try and sneak by? Don't worry about that. Let us talk about you. Uh-oh, it's up to you now, Miguel. There's a little tapas place in the square. What say we meet when Cortez has sailed? Hey, I can hear you trying to sneak past, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Now then. Where were we, my dear? Your eyes are like olives, dark and mysterious. <laughs> Your voice. I've never heard a woman's voice like it. Oh, you! Finally, Miguel's made his escape. What was that, my dear? I said, senor, you behave like an ape! Good day! Oh, was it something I said? Told you I'd get us past him. Come on! What are you looking at, Miguel? You know something? That dress, 
It really suits you. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. I'm going to pretend I didn't say it. Good. Now, come on. I sure will miss you in that dress, Tulio. You may mock me, Gail, but it got us this far, didn't it? You're right. All we have to do now is find a way over the wall, and we're free! See the ship? That will carry Cortez to the New World. Those poor guys! Who'd sail the ocean in one of those? You'd better take this map, Miguel. You were the one who wanted it so badly. Miguel, guess who this donkey reminds me of? Go on, surprise me. Ha! Huh? Your sister. Of course, the donkey's better looking. You are one funny guy, Tulio. There's a piece of string hanging here. We could find something to tie onto it. Safety notice. To avoid damage to machinery, keep limbs away from all moving parts. There must be an insurance requirement. Hey Miguel, look! Isn't that a barrel of carrots over there? So what? So perhaps we can entice the donkey with a carrot. But how do we get past the guards? Oh, Miguel. Yes? I've found another empty barrel. No way am I getting in a barrel again. If you did, you could sneak past the guards. Why would I even want to go near the guards? It's the only way we'll ever get near those carrots. I said no, and I meant no. Why is it always so dark inside these things? Those carrots will help you to see in the dark. I don't want to see in here. I want to see where I'm going, Tulio. Remember that bunghole? Yes? Use it! Okay, calm down. It's a miracle. I can see again, Tulio. and his barrels have started talking. I'll be glad to be out of here. Okay. Got the carrot. And that's the last time you'll see me wearing a barrel. Shame. I thought you were rather fetching in it. Yeah, fetching a carrot.
work, Tulio. The donkey's driving the conveyor. Aye, you're a sorry-looking fellow. I'd buy you something to eat, but I haven't two pesetas to rub together. Conveyor! of that last conveyor. Last conveyor! With our barrel escape, we left our problems behind us. Or so we thought, when we got on board the ship. That was only the start of our adventures. As I was saying... Fine, don't mind me. I thought I was telling the story. What about my turn? If you really have to. We thought we were safe. Then the sailors discovered us. We pleaded, but they were difficult men, and it did no good. They imprisoned us in the brig. We could see no escape. The situation was desperate. But cometh the hour, cometh the man, so I began to hatch a plan. 
Hey, Tulio, that was very cute. Oh, it was nothing. Just a little rhyming thing I threw together. There's a lot of money in poetry, you know. You should work on that. Hear that? All I can hear is you pacing up and down. That's Altivo up there, Cortez's war horse. Hey, Altivo! Here, boy! Maybe he can get us out of here. And how on earth is he going to do that? He could throw the keys down. You know, Tulio, that might not be the dumbest idea you've ever had. But it's close. Till tomorrow. Trust me, I feel a plan coming on. Looks like a rope ladder up there. Could come in handy. That's the kind of thing Miguel would do. You don't believe that horse can understand you. Do you have any idea what an awful view I get when you climb up there? If only I could get this grill loose. It was locked then? Might have been. So you won't be doing that again? I might. Hey, Altivo! Altivo! Here, boy! I've got a lovely apple, Altivo. Want it? Come on, boy! Get me the keys! <laughs> and you call me optimistic. Here, boy. Here's the apple. I don't believe you just did that. Trust me, Miguel. Ha! I told you it would work, Miguel. Miguel? If that hatch wasn't locked, I'd be out of here before Miguel wakes up. If I had some water, I might be able to wake him up. If there's anything useful down there, apart from bilge, what is bilge anyway? I've got to admit, a boat hook wasn't what I had in mind when I gave Altivo the apple. That horse certainly drives a hard bargain. I'm not going in there without Miguel.
Hey, monkey! Hey, monkey! Wake up! Maybe she only responds to her name. If I could just reach those biscuits! Got him! Stop stealing my biscuits, Josephine. Once it ends up like me... Oof, he's gone back to sleep. And now I know the monkey's name! Hey! Josephine! Josephine! Shh! Here, girl! Good girl, Josephine! Wanna play a game? Okay, here's how we play. You hook the keys on the end of the boat hook, Who's a good girl, Josephine? Here, Josephine! I've got a lovely crunchy biscuit! Actually, they taste like sun-baked camel dung. But to a monkey, who knows? Josephine, get me the yellow key, girl. I'd be in big trouble if I woke the sailor. I've got more biscuits, Josephine! Fetch me the green key, Josephine! Good to see Miguel in the right place for once. At least I'll have something soft to land on if I fall. I need to get the right two keys from the monkey. Mm, the yellow key is wrong. If I fall, I'll have a nice soft landing on Miguel. Here, take this key back, girl. <laughs> Josephine, want another biscuit? You can have one if you fetch me the red key. Here, take this key back. I've got 
more biscuits, Josephine. Fetch me the blue key and you can have a biscuit. lip and I'll take you to Cortez. Come now, let's be friends and put the past behind us. Back to the hold with you or I'll feed you to the sharks. Can we talk about this? Jump. I'm rich beyond your wildest dreams. Yeah, and I'm the captain from your worst nightmares. You knocked me out, Tulio. And you threw away the apple. I'll think of another plan. Please, don't. Ready for a big idea, Tulio? Go on, amaze me. That ladder has to be our way out of here. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Then all we need is a key, a spare ship, and everyone to fall asleep for a day or two. Hey, Tulio, look at the rope ladder. Leave me alone, I can't think when you keep distracting me. Think harder, Tulio, harder. I'm trying! Harder! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Tulio! You've done it! Tulio? Tulio? I'm missing from the wall. Wonder what Tulio's been up to. I could slide Tulio into the hole to see if anything bites him. to prop it open. Say, Altivo, throw down something to prop open this bilge cover. <laughs> what an idea Tulio had, thinking a horse could understand words. Pull yourself together, Miguel. The wind probably blew it down. to lay off the thinking for a while, old friend.
There is no chance of getting past the sailor unless I can find a disguise. Something to make me look like one of the crew, maybe. stand around doing nothing. Sorry, force of habit. Cortez could do an inspection at any moment, and we need to get the cannon polished. Well, I'd just love to help you, but uh, they took me off cannon polishing. Said I made them too shiny. Just grab a rag and get on with it. Get polishing. I can't find a rag. Use my socks. Here. Hope they don't smell as bad as Tulio's. Say, this is one shiny cannon. Better do a bit of polishing while I think what to do. That's more like it. You can have a biscuit and a swig of my rum when you're done. Can't wait. of these, and he did say I could have one. Don't you go taking all of those biscuits. I've got enough problems with the rats stealing my food. I hate rats. Horrible things. Ooh, give me the heebie-jeebies they do. Just get on with it. Uh, 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 don't rush me. I'm an artist. You can't go through there. That door's locked till we make port. Security's tight on this ship. Um, how do you get out? Don't need to. Got food and water right here. Only way out is to blow a hole in the side of the ship. And believe me, these beauties can do it. Back quick if I were you. to use the boat hook to prop it open. Hey, presto! Now I've just got to figure out what to do with it. Ha! Got 
got you. Now I can give that sailor polishing the cannon a fright. No way, Jose. than the sword. Rats really do it for this guy. <laughs> He's out cold. The lamp would burn a hole in my trousers. Whoops! Don't want to put the lamp out. Looks like the sailor was right. The only way out is to blow the side off the ship. The lamp would burn a hole in my trousers. Oops! Don't want to put the lamp out. I didn't want the lamp oil leaking all over my trousers. Aha! Now you're thinking, Miguel, old son. Now I just have to light it. That wouldn't work. The lamp would burn a hole in my trousers. Did you make that noise? What noise? And did you make this hole in the ship? What hole? Oh, that hole! No, uh, nothing to do with me. Well, it looks like a way out, whoever did it. Now that you mention it, I might have had something to do with making the hole. Why don't you? But your 
you're such a good climber. You're as agile as a cat. Oh, all right then. That metal ring looks strong. I'll take one of these for Altiva. Altivo, that was some throw. Getting the boat hooked through that hatch from here. You ever thought of taking up baseball? Here, let's untie that rope. You can't get into any trouble out here. Now, you make sure you behave yourself, Altivo. Here, Altivo, a whole shiny red apple just for you. This should help me get a lot. Always hope. Yeah, thanks. I sure hope you know how to tie knots. I'll take one of these for Altivo. Rusted solid. Miguel, you're stronger than me. Try to wind this lifeboat down. Leave it to me. balanced. Altiva would like another one of these. What do you think Altivo would do if I put this apple on the plank? Miguel! You're a genius! Why did you put the apple down there? Altivo can't reach it. Lateral thinking, my old friend. Just watch.
And so we floated loose upon the ocean, lost, miserable, starving, desperate. We must have been out there a whole afternoon before finally landing the boat upon a shore. Oh, how we rejoiced! Sharing the small boat with an animal was no fun, I can tell you. Still, at least I had Altivo to talk to. Ha ha, very funny. Are you going to carry on with this story? Oh, you mean I have your permission? Just get on with it. So, there we were, washed up on the beach of a distant land. Dry land! Safety! Just as I promised. You know, this place looks kind of familiar. Oh no. Did you drink salt water? Look, over there. That's the first marker on the map. The map? We can find El Dorado now. You still have the map? There's the bird rock. This is great. We're going to be rich. Miguel, you're a sad, sad man. Guess he must have upset the locals. The waiter! Check, please. We're leaving. Are you crazy? We can find El Dorado, the city of gold! Hmm, you do have a point. Can I help you? See what happens when you don't leave a tip. Vine up there could be useful. It's so dense. How do we get through? Aha! This way! To El Dorado! What about Altivo? We can't leave him here. It's a jungle, Miguel, not a trip through the park. But he'll be... lonely. No, we'll come back for him later. When we've found the gold. When we've found the gold. Sorry, Altivo. That's pretty scary, Miguel. I think you've got him on the run. There must be something we can do. Wow! Look at that! Yes, Miguel, it's a shadow. Did you ever notice you have one too? Very funny, Tulio. Just look, marker number two. The raven? Where? On the ground. Miguel, I do believe you're right. The cliff must be casting the shadow. Guess we need to go up there then. First things first, we've got the little creature to save. That's a long way up. No, we should hurry up and help that poor little creature first. Hey, 
you hear that? Makes funny sounds when the wind goes through it. I know. I'll hypnotize it with my flute. But you can't play the flute. Well, it's never too late to learn. Ah, it's terrible. It worked. I must be a natural. Don't quit your day job, Miguel. I think that means, uh, thank you. So, what's your name, then? W what was that? Oh, good grief. Just call him Bebo. Why Bebo? Sounds like Bebo. What if it's not a him? With a name like Bebo, what does it matter? Okay, so we saved Bebo from the snake. In your version, it sounds like I did nothing. Let me tell what happened next. Hey, Altivo, meet Bebo, Bebo, Altivo, Altivo, Bebo. I need to think of something else. It got us here. Wish it could get us home. Miguel, my old friend, could you climb that rock and get me that vine up there? I'll give it a go. No, I need something to cut it with. No, I need something... This should do it. A nice piece of rope. Now what? Can you hold on to this vine for me?
Could you give me a hand with this? Spaghetti arms. It's so dense! How do we get through? Follow me! I know the way! Hmm, I'm so not impressed. Uh, I mean, this way. I'm holding the tree. Now what? Okay, Bebo, you're going for a little ride. Don't worry, it'll be fun. And when you get up there, push one end of the vine down for us, okay? Ready? Come on, Miguel, up we go. Nice work, Bebo. Yeah, not like you deserve it. How's your head, Bebo? A walking stick, just what I will need for when I get old. That pile looks a bit unsteady. Let's see. Just jam it in there. So, if I push the lever, the rocks will... Miguel! You're so much stronger than me. Could you help me, please? Oh, let me at it. What's that 
that sound? Uh oh, run! Yeah, yeah, very funny. Tell the story properly, will you? Now, what did that Moses guy do? That was a nice party trick. Where's my stick? There can be miracles in my foot. Um, Tudio? Yes? How did you get past this last bit? I jumped. All the way from here? Yes. Can't you do it? Something must have changed. You couldn't jump that distance. All right, Miguel. I'll find a way to help you. See if this doesn't do the trick. There you are, big guy. A nice little bridge for you. Goodness. Bebo, come on, boy.
Way to go, Bebo! That looks so easy. Well, we're over the river. Where do we go next? Let's find the skull. Uh-oh. Julia, look! It's the skull! The next marker on the map! We're still on the road to El Dorado! All we need to do is find the back door out of here. And then on to the weeping woman. Piece of cake! Wait! You don't know what might be in there. One day, Miguel, you'll listen to that little voice. can't find a way to open this door. There's a lever over there. I wonder what it does. Miguel, come back here. What happened to our partnership? Symbols above the lever seem to match those above the doors. Maybe this is the way out of here. What? Where am I? What happened to Tulio? And where's Bebo?
where have you been? I've been waiting here forever. What kept you? Over to you. Over to you. Julio, I'm stuck. Give me some help, will you? Over to you. Over to you. Help me out here, Miguel. I'm stuck! Over to you. Over to you. Over to you. I see Bebo's managed to find us again. It appears to be an inverted image of some sort. It has the shape of a woman, Miguel. Wow! Look! A waterfall! From here, the rock looks like a face crying. It's the weeping woman from the map, Tulio. Did I ever doubt you? You know, we could fit through that eye. If only the water wasn't running. That door closes before we can reach it. Could your weight be triggering it? Bebo, I want you to go into that tunnel.
looks like the dent in the wall back of the skull. The statue should fit into the mold. The water, Miguel! It stopped running! The eye must be our way forward. Once we reached El Dorado, our worries were over. Or so we thought. You see, they believed that we were gods and treated us accordingly. Who could blame them? Yes, if you have the complexion of an angel as I do. It's the kind of mistake that can so easily happen. We were having the time of our lives. Really living the good life. Until... The evil Tsekul Khan released the terrible Stone Jaguar. We need to do something fast. Don't worry, we can outrun that big cat. I'd hate to think what happens if we don't. Now, where have I heard that sound before? Jump for it! My God! That was close! We might have been Jaguar droppings by now. How do we get out of here now? But you're the bright one. You think of something? Oh, Who dares to cross the bridge? Oh, doom. Merely the gods, Miguel <coughs> and uh, Tulio. Never heard of you. We're traveling incognito. And we're in a hurry, so just raise the bridge and uh, we are out of here. No! Why not? You must pay the tribute. Pay? Are you serious? We're gods. Gods don't have to pay. Listen up. Everybody pays, capisce? But we're broke. Puff. Enjoy the Jaguar. He's going to enjoy you. Oh dear, what do we do? What do we do? We could uh, panic, I guess. Your move, big guy. Uh-oh, he's getting closer. I hear it. Don't you think I'm scared enough? Some conk you got there. Show some respect, mortal! Remember the Jaguar!
Who gets to iron your handkerchiefs, huh? Foolish mortal! You do not have time for jokes! Careful now, remember what happened to the Sphinx. Back to you, Tulio. That ugly guy on your side just lit up, Miguel. Look at that! One of the statues lights up on your side, Tulio. Your move, big guy. My! What a big nose you have! I am she that smells all! Better stay away from the beans, then. Do not waste my time, mortal! Bring me my tribute! Bring something to please the nose! This rare essence comes to you from one of the finest parfumiers in the romantic old world. La odeur celora. Vibrant, colorful, with crisp floral top notes. It's a fragrance you can never forget. I'll vouch for that. It's peculiar, it's earthy, and yet it's strangely appealing. I like it. Never before have I smelled a more exquisite perfume. I shall let you pass. Come on, Big Ears, listen to a plea. Shall I kill this mortal now? As long as I get a taste. Count me out! I don't want to get within smelling distance. Hey! Anybody home? Take care, mortal. I hear the jaguar coming. Listen, Dumbo, do something! Back to you, Julia! My, what big eyes you have! Enough to see your ugly face. Are those eyes uh, following me around? Take care, mortal. You are annoying me. Somebody's watching me. I'm sure of it. Quite a mouth you have there. Mortal, you will not sweet talk your way out of this. I suppose you think gold teeth don't need to be brushed. I suppose you think gold teeth don't bite. I wouldn't want to see the drill that would be needed here.
Your move, big guy. Uh-oh. What does this mean? Silence, mortal! What have you brought me? I'm working on it. Did you, uh, have anything special in mind? I am he that hears all. Where is my tribute? You must bring something to please the ear. Tulio, got any bright ideas? Are you kidding? I think I used them all up. I got it! I want to play you a little number now that has a special meaning in my life. It's a great tune, and it's always been good for me. I think you're going to love it too. Thank you, thank you. You've been a wonderful audience. Uh, good night. God bless. So, what did you think of that little number? If I raise the stone, do you promise not to play it again? Brings tears to the eyes, huh? Something like that. I knew all those weeks of the tribute band would pay off one day. Back to you, Julio. Wonder if you knew the guy down on the beach. What's this? <laughs> no, I can't leave without Miguel. Your move, big guy. Back to you, Julio. Those eyes are creepy. I am she that sees all. What have you brought me? You mean it didn't come already? The store promised me it would be here today. Enough of this nonsense. I demand my tribute. You must bring something to please the eye. Oh boy, have I got the gift for you. An individually crafted solid gold plate on which is etched a divine vision. This limited edition antique personality plate is the gift that goes on giving forever. Let me see! Let me see! Oh, the plate is fine! But what a beautiful face is crafted into the gold! Such exquisite features! Such magnificent eyes! I shall let you pass. Your move, big guy. Back to you, Julio. Hold there, distasteful mortal. I am he that tastes 
Well, in matters of taste, you're better off with me than Miguel, I can tell you. What have you brought me? Oh, you are going to love the gift we have for you today. It's, uh, it's, uh, um, almost ready. Do not waste my time, mortal. Bring me my tribute. Bring me a delicacy to eat. If it passes my test of taste, then you shall pass also. Flesh frozen at the peak of its freshness and rushed here direct from the Imperial Kitchens of Madrid? This biscuit to ship will tease and tantalize your taste buds like no other confection. Ooh. Let me have it! Let me have it! Oh, so crispy, so pungent, I can taste the sea breeze! So full of life, too! That'll be the weevils, I guess. I shall let you pass. Kitty gets here. Now can I panic? Come on, Miguel, the Jaguar is coming. Man, it's hot in here. Those rocks look pretty shaky to me. You need to be quick, big guy. Remember the turtles? Who could forget them? Uh-oh! He's getting... I hear it. Don't you think I'm scared enough? Not very hospitable, I agree. So, is the lever from my door all the way over there? Hang on, I'll check. Either get roasted alive or eaten alive. So I have a choice, huh? <laughs> Took your time, didn't you? Oh, 
Okay, we can move on at last. Come on, Miguel. You think those skulls are from real, live, dead people? Put it this way, it's not modern art. Oh well, that's a relief. Over the you. Pull the lever, Tulio. These fruit have teeth marks. Maybe the spiders eat them. Over the U. I can use the fruit to lure the spider under a block and squash it.
over to you. We need to work together on this. Pull the lever. Lever, Miguel! Ha-ha! <laughs> Freedom! Don't know about that. That Jaguar sure sounds close. Remember that plan I told you about, Miguel? Well, I, I don't remember the details, but I remember something about... Getting rid of that monster was a relief. As well as disposing of that stone jaguar, of course. But we still weren't singing from the same sheet. We wanted to return to Spain with a shipload of gold. And you wanted to stay in El Dorado. But of course Cortez had to go and spoil the party, so to speak. The only way to stop him was to seal the entrance to El Dorado. Tulio finally had a plan that looked promising. What do you mean, finally? But first, we had to fill the water tower with water. 
we were taken to the water system by one of the local youngsters. This is the place. Out the way, little girl. God's coming through. Wait, Tulio. Maybe she can help us some more. Oh, yeah? Like the kid with the slingshot? Leave it to me. So, this is the water temple. Oh, yes. Good. So, where's the switch that turns on the water? The switch? Ha. What do you mean, ha? I mean, ha, you'll be lucky. The water temple is Zekko Khan's domain. Only he knows how to make the water flow. Come on, Tria, we're gods. We can figure this out. And there I was, thinking we were just a couple of ordinary guys. Beware. Even if you open the water gates and make the fountain flow, you will never escape the monsters that lurk within. Uh, monsters Monsters. Good. Nothing too serious, then. Come, Tulio. We have a city to save. Have a nice day now. Kids these days. Such imaginations. Well, this is just great. Where do we start? We don't have much time. We need to get the water flowing. I propose we split up and get on with it. Great plan, Tulio. I knew you'd think of something. We'll meet up later, yeah? Oh, dear. I hope he'll be able to cope on his own. Okay, Miguel. I've had enough of your impulsive actions. I can fix this on my own. Only the bearer of the sun gem may pass. I am clean out of sun gems. Well, you had better go and find one. Some cogs on the wall, and what looks like space for more. It seems to be a water gate. It must raise to let the water flow through. Another water gate. I can't do much with it. There's no handle and it looks pretty heavy to move. There's a cog just lying on the ground.
Not the prettiest of faces by a long way. Interesting eyeball, though. Another cog! A mosaic on the wall. What's that underneath the mosaic? Something's embedded in the wall. Is that another cog? It's like a glove. Well, like a cog anyway. Click. Hey, this is fun. Whoa. What on earth? Why, this is a gemstone carved into the shape of the sun. Be worth a few pesetas when I get it back to Spain. Hey, now that didn't happen before. That's one pretty scary statue. That's a lever behind those bars. Hmm. Positive mental attitude. That's what all this is about. That too, Leo. Now, what am I actually going to do? The sun gem may pass. Wow, a talking door. Only the bearer of the evil eye may pass. I'll come back if I find one. That looks like a water gate. I could probably move it, but there's no handle. I'd need to use something as a lever.
What an ugly chap. Uh, no offense. That eye looks like it could be prized out. Ooh, he looks even uglier with only one eye. Hello? Just a statue, nothing to worry about. That looks like a water gate. Just great. He looks pretty angry. I'd better run for it. Why is this sort of thing always happening to me? It's just gotta be Miguel's fault. Phew, that was a close one. Okay, try to stay calm. Don't panic. Just run for it. I need to spend more time at the gym. A triumph of hope over desperation. Now, onward. I must find Tulio and get this old place popping water.
That's all of the water gates open. But where has Tulio gone to? Tulio! Miguel! You wouldn't believe what just happened! There was a, a terrible stone jaguar and... It chased me around the building! Then I trapped it in a pit and... You managed to do that? Well, hey, it was easy. Are you crazy? It was terrifying! One jumped on me when I tried to get to this lever in here. There's a lever? Let me have a look. Be my guest. What the... What have you done? We're all going to die! Ah! Ah! Tulio? We're alive! Hooray! The elder water's flowing! Great! Now, let's get out of here. We need to finish Cortez. We did it! As if there was ever any doubt. We are gods, after all. Now you must finish the job. Come on, Tulio, there's no time for goodbyes. The water tower will soon be full. You have a wave to catch. Well, that's how we saved the City of Gold from falling into the clutches of Cortez. And how we lost a fortune, of course. Hmm, there is that. But there are more important things than wealth. Such as? A beautiful sunset, the company of friends, a healthy body, honest toil, adventure... Listen, Miguel, if I find out it was you that lost the other paddle... Relax, Tulio. Just enjoy the weather. Never mind the weather. It's your turn to paddle. Okay. Here we go. Steady about. I've told you a million times, Miguel. The sun sets in the west. Spain is to the east. And I've explained a million times, Tulio. It all depends on which side of Spain we're on. The world's round.